Hi everyone, welcome to my channel. In this tutorial we'll learn how to use Build Modifier in Blender. The Build Modifier in Blender is used to animate the construction or deconstruction of a mesh over time. This can be useful for a variety of animation effects, such as revealing objects, simulating construction, or for artistic purposes. Let's see how it works. Add a monkey head. Go to the Modifier tab and add a Subdivision Surface Modifier. Apply the modifier. Right-click and make Shade Smooth. Add a Build Modifier. As you can see, the monkey head has disappeared. It's because the Timeline Cursor is at Frame 1 right now. This is the start frame that specifies the frame at which the building effect starts. Let's play the animation. The building effect will start from frame 1 and last till frame 100. The length value determines how many frames the building process will take to complete. You can change the start frame and length values. If we set the start frame to 50, the building effect will start at frame 50 and last till frame 150. Set the start frame to 1 again. To speed up the animation, you need to lower the length value. Let's set the length value to 50. That's it. The animation will slow down if you set the length value to higher. If you enable the reversed option, the modifier will operate in reverse and deconstruct the mesh instead of building it. If you enable the randomize, it randomizes the order in which the faces are built. Changing the seed value gives a different random order. Alright, you can also determine a specific order for building faces. To do that, hit the Tab key to switch to Edit Mode. Go to the Mesh menu, Sort Elements, and choose the View X-Axis. Open up the bottom left panel and select the faces as elements. Go back to Object Mode. Play the animation. So the faces will be built from left to right on the X-Axis. If you want to build from bottom to top, switch to Edit Mode. Move the 3D cursor to the bottom of the mesh. Go to the Mesh menu, Sort Elements, choose the Cursor Distance, and switch to Face Elements. Back to Object Mode and play the animation. That's it. Thanks for watching. See you in the next tutorial.